Warm-ups are completed. We are getting ready to start between Edmonton BHC and the Brampton Midnight Express. Starting goaltender for Edmonton, Chris Kerr. Starting for Brampton, Chris Ciperoni. Just awaiting the national anthem, then we'll be underway. Here we go. Edmonton BHC in the white, the black, red trim. Brampton Midnight Express in the darker jerseys, black with the red trim. In the background behind his own goal, Brian Solga for Brampton. Malay brings it out the other side. Marcel Malay. Back towards center. Both these teams, this is their third game of this championship. Brampton, a win and a tie for Edmonton, a win and a loss so far. Brought in Hauser. Get the return pass to Hauser. Andrew Jake. Hauser's got it here in the near boards. Off a leg and behind the goal. Flip down the floor, going back to get it. Ahmed, no flooring, play continues. Crocker got it down the floor. Beat it into the middle, good hard shot. First scoring chance. J.C. Gill, stop made by Kerr. And Kerr's got that one in the trapper and holds on. Tony Brar, straight up the middle, up on this side to Granger. Couple of shots at it, none of those got through and it'll come out. Scully. Trying to get it to Granger, that didn't work. Back comes Sidiric, Sirigic rather. Twin Sirigic. Only an over the blue line mishandled. Taken by Ben Fear. He lost it. Sahid Gill. Through the middle, Satachi, he's poke-checked as he gets through the blue line. 
Rolls into Kerr. He will hang on to it. Giustini turns, shoots off the stick, up and out of play. Giustini back at the point, long shot in by Sahib Gill. Ends up on the fire boards. Edmonton, flip it down the floor. Back is Mitchell Byrne. Byrne, nowhere to go right now, just a short pass to Giustini. We'll have to give it back to Gill. Down the floor, it won't be enough for flooring. Back to get it is Brennan Evans. Head to Ferenic. Bounces over the top of the goal. Ferenic looking for it behind the goal. On him is Jason Smith. It's going to be a high sticking penalty against Brampton. Jason Smith gone to the penalty box. Power play for Edmonton. Kept in by Jubinville. Shebley to Jubinville. Over the other side, Tony Breyer is working in along the goal line. Doesn't shoot it, steps in a little closer. Again, they'll try the goal line play, and catching that is Ciparoni. Shebley, Jubinville, shot right on goal, stopped and cleared. Still just over three minutes to go in the four minute high sticking penalty. Jubinville shoots it in, going into four check, Lauren Sell. They come up with it for Edmonton. Pass off the mark. That missed Rousey. Now Rousey has it. See, that's Lauren Sell. Jubinville. That shot wide. Lauren Sell walking in. Tried to line the goal line again. No dice there. Brought out by Sean Hannon. Hannon's knocked down. It's going to be a penalty now against Edmonton. Roughing. So take the power play off the board. We'll go four on four. 219 left to go in the penalty to Smith of Brampton. Do the 
face off. Time Edmonton wins it. And Dressen. Hustling back to get it. Crocker behind his goal. Offside. Steele got in ahead of the ball. South win for Edmonton. Still four on four. Patiglio. That is into the Brampton players bench. off. Usually with four on four, you talk about the floor opening up and more space for everybody, everybody to operate, but it's been a very quiet four on four so far. So 49 seconds left to go in the first penalty. Edmonton, along the boards, get it to Briar, threw it in front, that's intercepted, back comes Brampton. Giustini. They can't get it in. Briar missed it. Admed. Giustini. They'll shoot it from well out. Off the goaltender over the top of the goal to the far boards. Edmonton penalty has expired. Ten seconds to go in the penalty to Brampton. I can say them will be five on five, but that's not going to happen. Body checking call against Brampton. Seven seconds, five on three, and it will be five on four. Call against Noah Lemos. So 
First penalty is over, five on four now. Power play for Edmonton, five on four for another minute and minute than 25. Dressen, Jubin, or to Lauren Sell, then down to Solga. Actually, let's get it right. This is Perenic for Edmonton. And that's cleared down the floor. Flips it in. 35 seconds to go in the power play. Goaltender tried to play it out. Couldn't. Kept in by Andressen. Lauren Sell. To the side of the goal for Rennick. Breaks through. That's kept out. So 15 seconds to go in the power play. Andressen. Brar down low. <laughs> Penalty is over. Now we are five on five. Lemos just came out of the penalty box and it goes up and out of play. Jubinville down in the corner up along the boards, trying to get it to Beal. Knocked down, long shot off a stick up and out of play. Granito has to go back in his own end to get it. Shebley's on him. Granito turns away, heads up the floor. And over the blue line, keeps on going down into the corner. Back to Satachi. Again, off the stick, out of play. Kept in by Brampton, Satachi, Giustini, forced to just backhand it in. Lauren Sell is there, Lauren Sell is knocked down. Give me another penalty, this one to Brampton. Tripping. So another power play for Edmonton BHC.
Lauren Sell. Andressen. Lauren Sell. Shoots. Cipperoni got the block or got the right pad on it. It goes off of him, up and out of play. Sell. He stopped, comes right in front. They throw it around. Not sure why Kyle Lewis turned down that shot. All alone in front, shorthanded, and he elected to pass it. Well, if you're going to get a better scoring chance than that, right in front of the goaltender, all alone. Edmonton mishandled the ball down in their own end. Gave it away to Brampton. Brampton gave it back. Ferenic behind the goal to Rousey. And that's missed. comes to the near boards. Brampton with a chance to move it out. They do. Crocker passing to Lemos. Save is made and held. That was Quinn Sirijuk. Took the pass, 63, sorry. Twenty-two seconds to go in the power play. Crocker shoots it wide of the goal. Gill. So on Gill. Delayed offside. And that'll do it. The penalty is now over. Down the floor. Can he get to it? Yes, but can't get much of a shot away. It was Andrew Jag. Was so close to the goaltender by the time he caught up to the ball. Hauser backhanded it up to the blue line, kept in. Shot by Fear. Referee calling another penalty. Gordon Crocker gone to the penalty box. Cross checking. And that's a four minute penalty against Brampton. Got a timeout called. One forty two to go. First period, no score. What has been a quiet game so far.
Tony Barr to take the face off for Edmonton. They're on the power play here late in this first period. It's won by Brampton, goes to the boards. It's cleared out and down the floor by Brampton. Hustling back to get it, Jubinville. Sirigic watching him, gets it up ahead. Taking it back behind his goal, Jubinville. Jubinville holding it there, waiting. His pass up on the boards, racing onto it. It's Ben Fear. Fear gets it in over blue line, drop back. It'll come back to Jubinville. Jubinville shoots. That goes wide. Taken off the end boards. They score. Whoa. Had some excitement, and the referees waved it off. Goalie had it. <laughs> I think Blake Granger was saying the goalie's glove was in the net. They only do the replays of goals. That was not one, says the referee. So we stay tied. Jubinville. Adam Chebley was waiting for it. He's got it. Down low. Granger. Chebley shoots. That's why. Comes off the end boards. Cleared to the boards on it first. Adam or Andrew Jake sends it down the floor. 30 seconds to go in the period. Still 240 left to go in the power play. Chebley gave it away at the blue line and cleared by Brampton. Great hustle by Ahmed getting in there, trying to kill these last few seconds. Looks like he will do so successfully. Just a couple of ticks on the clock left. And the buzzer goes. First period comes to an end. No score. 218 left to go in the power play for Edmonton. When we come back for period two, you're watching the 2023. Men's and Women's A, Masters and Legends, Canadian Ball Hockey Championships from St. John, New Brunswick.
Edmonton still on the power play to start this second period. Another two minutes, 18 seconds left to go in that cross-checking penalty to Jordan Crocker. Try and get it in over the blue line. They do. Bring it back out. Lauren Sell. They drop it back. That shot ripple the outside of the net. It's Mike Holden here on the left side for Edmonton on this power play. Able to hold it in. It was Andresen. That hit some of the bodies that were parked in front of the goaltender. Coming away, Gill shorthanded, shot on goal. Minute 25 to go in the power play. Lorenzell spinning away, chips it in, he'll go to get it. Coming way out of the net to play it is Ciparoni. It's put to the boards. Edmonton on it first. Rousey. Sophia Rousey. Over the other side. Lawrence Hell couldn't one time that. Shot scores. Look one way, shoot the other. Phil Ferenic. Lawrence L. back to Ferenic. He's going to look off the shot. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. No, I'm not. <laughs> back of the goal. one nothing. Edmonton. Jag, that stop. Chebley coming the other way. Dumps it in. Renito back to get it. Off the boards to Jag. Malay. To Jag. Back to Malay. They go to the other side. Long shot in. That got right to the goaltender. Rangers lost his glove and his stick. Got them both back. Brampton pressing a little bit now. We'll take it back towards center. Long shot in, blockered away. Rebound is there for Brampton. That shot didn't get through. And Edmonton come out with it. Granger trying to cut towards the goal. Granger goes down. Granger's got it again. Tried a couple of shots from that tough angle. Jubinville has to hustle back, plays into the corner. Now it's going to be a penalty against J.K. Gill. Tripped up Jubinville. Yet another penalty against Brampton. Jubinville. Lauren Sell. Leaves it back for Jubinville. One-timer save 
Ball goes up in the air and all the way up into the ceiling here at the Lord Beaverbrook. Jubinville to Holden. That pass, a little bit too hard. Lawrence L has to go back to get it. Satachi was trying to track him down. They get it in over the blue line. Lawrence L. Rousey's in front. Jubinville. Holden, didn't get much on that, kind of went off the heel of his stick. Lawrence Hell keeps it alive. Ferenix got it in the corner. Down to Rousey. Back to Lawrence Hell. Jubinville. It's under a minute to go in the power play. Shot by Lawrence Hell, blocked by Satachi. Jubinville, the shot scores. So all that passing back and forth, back and forth. Comes back to Jubinville and he just winds up. Puts it in the back of the goal. Jubinville is number 10 back at the point. Given a bit of room. Makes it two to nothing. Another power play goal. Two to nothing. Smith dropped it back for Sean Hannon. Hannon, big man, tough to handle. He's going to draw a penalty against Edmonton. Gill, he'll move it around. This is Hannon. Mallet, Mallet turns, shoots. That missed the net. The late penalty continues. The goaltender is on the bench. Brampton has six players out there. Hannon with a shot, scores. Now things are picking up a little bit. Sean Hannon, who drew the penalty, did all the work down in the corner, then finishes it. Put the goal on the delay penalty. This is Gill over to Hannon. Hannon lowers the boom. Gonna be a flooring call. Cleared out, Crocker back to get it. Mallet, ooh. Pass was picked off, but Jag does a great job to get it back. Now he breaks in alone. 
Knocked off his stick at the last second. We're going to get another penalty. Hooking. Brampton back on the power play. Evan Hamelia in the penalty box. Two minutes for hooking. They don't shoot it. They shoot it this time. Blocked. Shoot it again. Blocked. Back of the point. Shot. Got through. Goaltender has it. Wow. Forget this passing it around nonsense. Get it. Shoot it. Get it again, shoot it again. I like it. It's sent down the floor. Brampton back to get it. Giustini. Leave it for Crocker. Taken off the boards, brought in. J.C. Gill back to Crocker. Giustini with a shot, again, save is made. Kerr has got it between the pads. Just missing it at the side of the post. Back it comes again. Giustini shot over the top of the goal. And the faceoff will come outside the blue line. 104 to go in the power play. Well, we'll get a discussion. Mm -hmm. Uh, who touched that last before it sat on the mesh? No, they're going to change it. Bring it inside. Edmonton win the faceoff. Jubinville got to the glass and out. Now a shorthanded chance. Shot. Goaltender got a piece of it, it goes to the boards. There's ben Fear with that chance for Edmonton. Long shot in, kicked away by Kerr. Edmonton on it. Hard clear down the floor. J.K. Gill, bring it up. Under 30 to go in the power play. Don't have it in over the blue line. Now they do. Satachi back to Gill. Satachi on the side back to Gill. 12 seconds. Malay. And the Satachi. Malay. Gill. Five seconds. Gill shoots it. The rebound was there and then cleared to the corner. Off the boards. Penalty's over. shot hits somebody in front went up off the glass sits in behind the goal Brampton in there trailing by just one looking for that equalizer ball finally comes to the boards but it'll be kept in it is even strength now 
Jubinville to Anderson. Chebley dumps it in. That line's going to get off. They need some new bodies out there to Edmonton, and they get them. Penalty to Edmonton. Back-to-back -back penalties to BHC. <laughs> Two minutes, interference. Brampton's been coming on recently. They got the one goal back. Now looking for the second. Crocker gets the return pass. Giustini, Hannon, Crocker, Giustini, Crocker just missed. Comes back at the point. Giustini. Down for Hannon. Crocker. Tried to throw it on the goal. That was blocked by Rousey. Ball goes up in the air. Jump ball. Nobody touched it. That's going to be a hand pass. Gill went high in the air to try and hold it in. Went off the tips of his fingers. And Giustini dove to try and keep it on side. But it's a hand pass. Time came off the clock after the whistle. Right now it's showing a minute 13 left to go in the power play. They put five seconds back up. Mallet. So we've got a minute and five seconds to go in the power play now. Gill, long shot off the end boards. Not cleared on the first try, not cleared on the second. Gill, one-timer, scores! J.K. Gill. We'll take the pass here from Andrew Jig. Tees it up. And ties it up. Just onside. Rolls down to the goaltender. He'll keep the play going. So we've got a tie game. Things opening up here a little bit in the second period after a, let's call it a lackluster first period. Much better here in the second. Shot on goal. Made away by Kerr. Held in by J.C. Gill. Sirigic. Pushed up along the boards. Maintains possession. Sirigic. Gill. Long shot. Played away by Kerr. 
On it in behind the goal is Patiglio. Threw it right out in front. Patiglio looking for the deflection. Those two of the boards. Oh, Brampton right now. Granito. Cycles it back down low. Scores! If ever you could kind of sense a goal coming, that was Satachi. He did almost all the work on this. Around and around behind the goal he goes, comes back out. Found some room on that short side on the wraparound. 3-2. From down two to nothing. Brampton Midnight Express have climbed themselves out of that hole and have taken the lead. Under three to play here in the second. I don't know if you can hold it back there for another period and two minutes and <laughs> win the game that way. Nobody touched it. It'll be a flooring call. Shot wide, taken by Amelia. Play goes through the boards, down to our left, comes free. Amelia had it again. Actually, that was 77 from Gaston. He's got it again along the boards, plays it down into the corner. Now it's picked off by Lewis. Lewis has it. Burn, Mitchell Burn, back behind the goal. Two minutes to go in the second. Pass up for Lewis. Lewis trying to cut inside. Amelia stayed with him. It's kept onside by Brampton. Mallet. Long shot right on. Goal, rebound is there. They get two or three cracks at it. It is still loose, finally taken. And Dressen backhands it out. Sahib Gill. That was a good low shot by Gill as he was backing up out near center. Got it on goal and then all kinds of stuff ensued from there. One, two, three, four, five, six white jerseys on the floor. That is one too many. Another power play for Brampton. Minute 17 to go. Yeah, that was a no doubter. That wasn't one of those ones where somebody was jumping on and somebody jumping off and did they or didn't they? Six players well out onto the floor, engaged in the play. Timeout. Timeout Brampton as they set up this power play. Penalties being served by Tony Brar.
So Brampton on the power play again. Bench minor, too many players on the floor. That goes off a stick, up and out of play. Got J.K. Gill out there for Brampton, along with Satachi, Hauser. Mallet. And the other player is Jeg. Over on the left side. They got it to Jag. The ball bounced on him. He couldn't put it in the open side of the goal. Cleared by Edmonton. Time running out here in the period. 30 seconds to go. Gill tries it again. This time, no traffic in front at all. But it'll get the face off down in the Edmonton end. Timeout, Edmonton. We're underway. That was just missed. Giustini's shot didn't go off anybody. You're going to bring the face off outside with 11.7 seconds left. Shot in, Kerr's got it, holds it. Whoa, and about three seconds ran off the clock. They're not going to put me back on. Yes. A little bit of a mix up with the clock towards the end of this period. It ran off two or three seconds prior to that, and that time it ran off everything. So all together, maybe about three and a half, four seconds. Okay, three. This time the period really is over. 43 seconds left in the power play for Brampton. Start of the third period. Much better second period between these two teams than the first, and we'll be back for the third period and see what that brings in just a couple of minutes.
Brampton still on the power play. Another 28 seconds. Crocker, Giustini, missed short side. Rebound came out the other side, cleared to the boards. Ranger went down. Giustini, travel into the slot area. Jubinville put it wide. Oh, sorry, Jason Smith, drawing number 10. And that'll do it. Power play is now over. Crocker. Jag. To the blue line. Got it in. Back to pick it up. Scully. Rousey. And Gresson drops it back. Lauren Sell. Down into the corner. Rousey. Watched by Jag. Into the middle. Backhand put towards the goal. Did not get through to the goaltender. Cleared out towards center. It's kept on side. Malay. Knocked off his stick. He'll stay in play. Sahib Gill. Chipped in by Sirijic. Edmonton come away with it. This is Jubinville. Pass to Fear. Shot right on goal. No trouble for Ciperoni. Brampton heading up the floor. Right in front, good pass, shot by J.K. Gill. Save was made and the ball comes out and Edmonton will go the other way. Fear, he'll chase it down. Goaltender though comes out to play it. That's enough poking and prodding, says the referee. Nobody's able to move it. We'll blow the whistle. We'll get a face off. Holden to take it for Edmonton. Controlled by Brampton into the corner. All the way down the floor, nobody touched that. That'll be a flooring call against the Brampton Midnight Express. Two more games to go after this one. Both in the men's A. Saskatoon Buffalo to take on New Tecumseh Extreme and then the Toronto Titans will play the New Brunswick Mooseheads. Renito trying to get it up the boards. Gets it ahead to Satachi. Satachi in over the blue line. Dropped it back. Shot by Taggart. Went wide. Satachi trying to work out front. Taken away. Good defensive play. Mm. 
for Rennick will shoot it in. Holden came up with it, but then had it taken away as well. Down the floor. No flooring. Great hustle by Satachi to prevent the flooring. Granito. Giustini. Lewis. Lewis coming off the boards. Right back out to center, drops it off. Try and give it back to Lewis, that's intercepted. Chebley has it. The pace has definitely picked up here in this game. Crocker really hustling back. Hannon. Getting back to break it up, Andres, and then it goes out of play. The faceoff will stay in the Edmonton end. 10.04 to go. That shot was blocked, ball went way up in the air, didn't touch the ceiling, and then cleared down the floor. And just unable to reach it is the Edmonton player. Rousey. Jubinville. As far as the blue line, now it's forced out. Crocker turning, being harassed there by Caden Rauji. Jubinville gets it in. Over to Lauren Sell. Lauren Sell does a little button hook, puts it in behind the goal. Rauji tried to backhand it out in front. Crocker got that and it's taken back by Rauji. Couple of players all wrapped up. Crocker and Caden Rousey. Crocker had Rousey stick caught between his arm and his body. And then Rousey in frustration gave Crocker a little face wash and they're both gonna go. Okay, that seems fair. Crocker gets two minutes for holding the stick, which he did. Rousey gets two minutes for roughing, so that push to the face, which he did. So they both go off. Coincidental Miners will stay five on five. Shot over the top of the goal into the corner. Marcel Mallet. They get it in. This is Andrew Jag. Tried to give it back to Mallet. Good work by Scully to stay with him and intercept the pass. Right out in front. Ranger knocked off his stick. Breaking in. Lamos. That hit the goal post. JC Gill rang it off the post. Mallet, Jag, shot that hit the Brampton player up high. The reason for the whistle. Not the player, in the, they've got part of the helmet but also side of the face.
immediately training staff come out. some movement down there now at least it's JC Gill at least kneeling up now and he's going to get to his feet a really good sign And from everybody here at the Lord Beaverbrook rink. And he's going to walk to the bench. Thinking they might want to clean up that spot in front of the goal. There was a lot of sweat and some water. Still see it from here. I thought they would go and clean that up before we started, but play is underway. Hannon trying to get away. Hannon in along the boards. Backhanded down. It's not going to go far enough for a flooring call. Players get to it. Jay Cagill shoots it in. He's in there with Andresen. Andresen's lost his stick trying to kick it free. For Rennick. A little give and go off the boards, and then up ahead to Shebley. He's got it. Can't get around Granito. Now for Rennick. Back to Shebley. Goes down into the corner. For Rennick's on it. Behind the goal. The Fortune gets it out in front and will be covered up by Cipperoni. 7 11 to go. Giustini couldn't get it out. It's kept in. Comes to the front of the goal. Miller has it. Miller scores. Watching that battle down in front of the 
Frampton goal between Miller and Giustini. They were really going at it. Miller wins that one. Here you see Miller and Giustini to the side. They've been at it for a while before that happened. Miller scores and we are tied. With under seven to play here in the third period. Dumped back in by Lauren Sell. Lewis couldn't get away. Brought in by Scully. Got Lewis all over him. Referee out at the blue line has called hooking. It's going to go against Brampton. Kyle Lewis will go to the penalty box. Power play for Edmonton. 6.14 to go in the third now. Well, again, a little trouble with the time clock. asking to put two seconds back up. I think they've agreed to just hold it for two seconds. Now the clock is running. It's knocked down at the blue line. Lauren Sell. Ferenic. Back to Lauren Sell to Ferenic. Chebley lost it, and it is cleared and out. It's in over the blue line, but they're going to lose it there. It's going to come out. Sarigic working against Lauren Sell, turning along the boards, trying to kill time. Back at the point, Jake spinning away. Andrew Jake. Sarigic shot wide. Finally, Edmonton come up with it. Under a minute to go in the power play. They like to flip it high into the corner. Let Lauren Sell run into it. And that's going to be another penalty. Ahmed ran into Lauren Sell. Actually, she's not Ahmed. It was 95. That's Crocker. It's looking at 15 for a second and realized immediately that's it's Jordan Crocker. Now a two-man advantage for Edmonton. And the timekeeper wants to have a word. All right. Well not finished chatting.
Crocker gone from the game. He's gone to the dressing room. His penalty will be served by Frank Giustini. I don't have an explanation for you, folks. Didn't see a misconduct called or. Two big saves made by Ciperoni. He's lost his stick. It's five on three. Granger lost his stick as well. Now Ciperoni's got his stick back. Granger's got his back. A lot going on on that play. It's five on three, only for another few seconds. Shot scores! Just as the first penalty expired. What a crazy sequence. It was Ben Fear. It is. So the question is, and I'm not sure, had the first penalty actually expired or not? If it had, the second penalty comes off. If not, the second penalty stays up. And it was a matter of a split second in the difference. By the time I looked up after the goal had been scored, the penalty had expired. And they have taken that penalty, the second penalty off the board. So they're saying indeed it had expired prior to, you know, the first penalty had expired prior to that shot being taken. So then the second one comes off and we are even strength, okay. Shebley will get there first and then knocked off his stick and a good play by Lemos. 4-3 now for Edmonton, they've retaken their lead. Comes to the side of the goal. Cleared by Brampton. Andrew Jag. Still a lot of time left, three and a half minutes. Hauser got it to the front of the goal and then it's covered there by Kerr. No flooring, just had a text from someone watching the game, said probably Crocker's third penalty of the game. That's an ejection, and thinking back on it, I'm pretty sure that was his third penalty. That's why he's gone. Thought that might be the case, I wasn't 100% sure, so. But now we think that is indeed why Jordan Crocker is gone from the game. Shot blocked. Ball is kept in by Brampton. Just under two and a half to go. Rauji cleared it out. Lawrence L down the floor. Lawrence L gets to it. 
put on goal. It's dropped for just a second and then covered. One fifty-eight left in regulation time. Giustini will dump it in. 1.42 to go. Juan Gill did a good job to get it up to the board, surrounded by a couple of Brampton players. Dumped in. 1.29. Goaltender hasn't moved for Brampton. Now he sprints to the bench. Brampton get the sixth player out there. It's Sean Hannon coming off the bench. It's going to go wide, and that's going to be a face-off back in the Edmonton end. Still two more to go, and uh, note we will be running late. This third period is taking quite a while to play. Next game is scheduled for 6.55. Obviously, that's not going to happen. We don't know when this one might end yet. Just one goal difference, a minute to go. Net is empty. Lemos. Hannon. Goes the other side. Chet scores! Marcel Mallet has tied it with the net empty. This is Hannon. Mallet is down, I'm sorry, over at the other side. Takes the pass. A little silly, why not? He just tied the game with 54.7 seconds left. may soon have to cancel my dinner plans. Well, I would if I had any. That's played right in front. Lauren Sell. Rousey right on goal. Cipperoni's going to take his chances with a face-off in his end. Timeout, Edmonton. with how the face-off was done. Goes to the boards. Lemos couldn't get it out. Now Brampton will get it out. Lemos back. Oh, 
That pass was off the mark. Sarijic was there. Six point eight seconds. Still time. Quinn Sarijic was lined up for the one timer here on the left side, and the pass was just a little bit off. They win it cleanly. They had a chance to shoot at Lemos with a shot. That's blocked. And for the second time today, we've got ourselves a little bit of bonus hockey. Teams will take an intermission of just a couple of minutes. And then they'll come back. They will play five minutes, four on four, sudden death. If nobody scores during that time, the game will end in a tie. All right, overtime. Sudden death variety. Rennick trying to get through right from the faceoff, couldn't. Byrne plays it into the corner. Thrown around behind to Byrne once again from Gill. This is Mallet who tied the game up late to Jake. Tried to give it. To Malay. Two on one shaping up. Oh, pass just off the mark. They're looking for Ferenic. That shot goes wide into the corner. Edmonton on it. Back at the point. That's kept on side. This is Lauren Sell. Ferenic. Ferenic trying to turn. Forced behind the goal. Threw it right through the crease. And Dresden was there, couldn't get a stick on it. Mallet. Marcel Mallet getting away. Stops at center. Hauser. Edmonton come away. Scully. Pass picked off by Admed. Chipped in by Sarijic. Comes through the boards. Edmonton has it.
Coley. Around to Sawan Gill. Gives it up to Jubinville. Pass to Granger. He was stopped. Gill is poke checked. Still along the boards. Fear trying to get away. He can't. Now he's got it. Ben Fear. Granger heading for the front of the goal. It comes to Granger. The, the goaltender got a stick on it and cleared it to the boards. Diving, but unable to get to it. What a valiant effort that was. Stefan Patiglio. Stefan Patiglio. It will be a flooring call against Brampton. Face off back in their end. 2.13 to go in overtime. Goes to the boards. Brampton able to get it out. It will not be enough for flooring this time. Getting back there, Skolig. Satachi in there for checking. Gill. One off a leg. It's turned over. Satachi calling for it. He's got it. Satachi winds up, shoots. Kerr has it and hangs on. Glove saves. Justini got a good shot away as they won the faceoff cleanly. That was Satachi winning the faceoff. They go up against Lauren Sell. Wins it again to Giustini. Back shot. Deflected just wide. Got about a minute and a half left to go in this sudden death overtime. Jubinville backhand. That was stopped by Ciperoni. They'll get to it. Giustini shoots. Goes to the near boards. Sarigic with a shot. Giustini tried to get to the rebound. And Dressen. But center, that's kept on side. Come all the way back to Granito. Under a minute to go. Sirigic threw it through the crease. Comes out the other side. Edmonton with it. Rousey turning back. They'll get it to Lauren Sell. Back to Sawan Gill to Lauren Sell. 22 seconds to go. Up to Fear. Fear turning. Got the pass to Skolig. Back to Fear. Fear with a chance. Shoots. Save made by the goaltender, Ciperoni. Saved it there. Both goaltenders coming up big here in overtime. Three seconds left. Gonna come to the side of the goal, that'll do it. The game will end in a 4-4 tie. Started out slowly, just kept accelerating. Turned out to be a pretty good game. So we are now officially running late. No surprise. 
<laughs> it happens all the time. Last game schedule to start at 8.20, which means if it was, everything was on time, it would be out of here by 10 o'clock. Actually, last game schedule for 8.30. So still 10-ish. I always assume I'm not going to get out of here until 11 o'clock or later. Just assume that when you look at the schedule. You get things like overtime. Not much you can do. Members of Canada Ball Hockey, Sandy Upper, Doug Puzzy, to present the awards. <laughs> Noah Lemos, player of the game for the Brampton Express, Midnight Express. Let's hope we don't go quite that late. Ian Miller, player of the game for Edmonton. All right, we're going to step aside. We need to get ready for our next game, Saskatoon Buffalo, New Tecumseh Extreme, another men's A game. We've got two more to go. We'll be back with that one shortly. Hope you'll come back and join us. For now, we'll step aside, and next game should be about 10 minutes from now. <laughs> 